for those who are watching on the replay, you've no idea of the hassle we've been through for the last 10 minutes. And for those who are here, I pray to God if I share my web browser with you now, you're going to see what I see. I really hope so. Please, if it goes off again, I will come back one more time and we will quit doing the web browser. We won't show anyone the web browser tonight. I'll play videos, we'll do Q&A, and we'll just have a nice time. Right? Don't go anywhere. I'm hoping and praying this works. Yes! I think it has. It has worked, and you should be seeing my web browser. I'm checking on Facebook. I'm pretty certain that is the case. So for those who haven't got a clue what I've been doing over the last week with these live webinars, if you go to actonthis.tv and you um, and you can have a look in the preview features section here by clicking on preview features, you can watch 15-minute previews of all the webinars we have done so far over the last two weeks. We've got the one we did last Thursday there with Sophie Holland, the casting director of The Witcher. Um, you can watch a 15-minute preview of that. Uh, we did a commercial castings uh, webinar with Martin Gibbons, one of the biggest commercial castings um, ca casting directors in the country. Uh, we did a, a director Q&A with Hannah Quinn, the director of Netflix's The Stranger. These are all massive, massive shows. Chris Stone is on here tonight. We did a three-hour showreel workshop with Chris Stone online. We had um, Ed Spleers. He stars in Downton Abbey and Outlander. Uh, we had him doing a, uh, a live like, acting Q&A with us. And we had Kelly Valentine Hendry, again, one of the biggest casting directors in the country, doing a 90-minute casting director Q&A. You'll obviously find all the podcasts and all the other stuff I normally do on the site there as well. Uh, but these live broadcasts, are, uh, are absolutely awesome. And if you go to actsonthis.tv forward slash live or you go to actsonthis.tv and click that purple thing at the top there, you'll go through to the live page and I want to show you what's coming up this week and I'm going to show you some videos from these people. I'll show you some of the like videos from stuff that we did last week. Um, but I've got some really, really cool guests. Tomorrow night, I've got cast director Dan Hubbard uh, coming on to actsonthis.tv for a 90-minute uh, a casting Q&A. And these are all completely interactive where you can jump online on your webcam, you talk to the guests one-to-one. -one. Obviously, a couple of hundred actors at a time will jump onto these, so I can't get everybody on asking their question, but we try and ask as many questions as we can from the community and um, get everybody as much value as possible. So Dan Hubbard is coming on tomorrow night. I'll play a little video from him in a minute. Uh, we've got Janet Hampson, uh, great agent. Used to be a casting director, Janet. Janet was a casting director for, uh, oh, I don't know, 12 years or so. She cast some massive comedies for the BBC, um, including things like Citizen Khan, you know, with Adil Ray. Um, you know, she had a great career as a casting director. She casts hundreds of episodes of Coronation Street as well. She was a Coronation Street casting director for a while. She's now got her own agency, Janet Hampson Personal Management. And she's going to be coming on, on Thursday night to do a 90-minute Q&A to help you guys, if you, if you need an agent right now, understand how to make that happen. You'll be able to jump on camera live with Janet. Again, ask her your questions. Then next Tuesday, I just confirmed this one today, Faye Timby is Sophie Holland's casting associate. Sophie's webinar last week, the casting director of The Witcher, was so bloody popular Everyone was saying, when can you get you know Sophie back? When can you get Sophie back? Um, I thought we'd get Faye in before we do that again. Um, Faye is is Sophie's right hand woman, basically. Um, you know, he, she helps uh, Sophie with all of her castings, not just on The Witcher, but every other project that they do. Uh, and they're just a brilliant team. So I thought, let's get Faye on. So Faye's going to be next Tuesday, and then next Thursday. Um, I've not put it on there yet, but if you wait until the end of this broadcast and you stay with me, I will show you who's going to be on next Thursday. If you've got an actsonthis.tv membership, you get access to all of these as part of your membership. Um, if you've not got an actsonthis.tv membership yet, get one. It's 17 quid a month, but you get eight of these webinars a month right now. So they work out at two quid each. Plus you get 250 hours of the other podcasts and you know video interviews that I've got on the website. Absolute bloody no-brainer. Um, get yourself involved. But I will play you... Uh, in a minute, some of the uh, some of the stuff that we did last week. I'll play you some of the you know some trailers and stuff and some highlights of the webinars that we've already done. So it looks like this stream is stable now. Like I say, you guys who are listening on the audio experience, or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, there'll be uh, no interference for you guys. But I'm sorry about the way that it all went wrong for the first ten minutes. Such a tease. Um, says uh, says Polly. Um, tension says Sam. Honestly, you're going to be so happy with who I've got on, I promise you, is a guy who I respect massively um, and has done oh, just incredible, absolutely incredible stuff in the industry. I'll explain to you at the end of this who that is, but I know you're going to get great value and he's a guest who we've, we've never had anyone on quite like him as well. If you're an actor right now who is interested in producing your own work, maybe you're not getting the opportunities 
that you believe you fully deserve to get or maybe you're getting frustrated. I, I am to a certain extent when it comes to getting so close to these parts because I'm visually impaired. You know, I've had two, two over the last five years, like two opportunities that would have changed my life, like really changed my life. You know, I would have been working with some of the biggest stars in the world, playing a visually impaired character and, I, and I've missed out. I've come second twice and there's a part of me that's like, shit, Ross, you need to write this yourself. I've said that on many occasions now. It's like the universe is trying to say, listen, you just, you know, forget being in someone else's thing, playing this character. You know it better than anybody. Write your own thing. If you're in that situation as well, where you're, you, you have your thing that you're like, you know, you've tried to use in other people's projects and you've not maybe, you know, got to do that or, you know, it's not quite been what you wanted and you're right, ready to produce your own stuff. These, this guy is part of a team who has done just that and I mean on a massive scale like a worldwide success scale like you know um not just like a small independent thing this guy really has crushed it with someone else who is very famous as well um so I'm going to tell you who that is at the end of this broadcast stay on uh, stay on with me but I know you're going to uh, you're going to enjoy it uh, Tanika says she's trying to work it out I don't know if you'll work it out uh, Tanika I'll uh, put some put some suggestions there if you want and I'll uh, I'll I'll keep teasing uh, I was listening to an audio on letting go of attachment today says uh, John thinking about it while you're speaking now what you've got you've sometimes got to let go i had to let go of all control over this live stream as it broke twice i thought basically let it go ross <laughs> don't be um don't be too caught up on it there's nothing i could do about it i've definitely found a bug in this software though um anyone else who live streams with something called obs if you do not set your web browser to a video source before you start streaming um, it will crash your entire system. It just did it to me twice. Um, Samantha says, Noel Clark, you, you're very, very warm, Samantha. You're very warm. Um, just a quick thing, said Tanika, was watching Mend for Money today and two women came on with retinitis pigmentosa. No way, that's what I've got. That's amazing. Send me a link. I didn't. Uh, I didn't have a clue. Um, I don't even know what that is, but let me, uh, yeah, let me know what that is. Uh, all right, Sharon, Mitra's here as well. Um, Wendy says she's definitely playing my mom when I do write my own life story. You can do that, Wendy. I'm sure we can sort that sort that for you. And let, the only the only caveat there is unless my mom wants to play it. If my mum wanted it, I'd have to give it her, Wendy. But, you know, if my mum doesn't want to play my mum, then uh, then you can. Sam says, Stephen Graham, oh, you know, it isn't yet, but I've had conversations um, around that very topic, Sam, that could definitely be happening very soon. And what also could be happening, the amazing things about doing these broadcasts now, because I'm doing so many on the trot, we're doing like every Tuesday, every Thursday, um, we're really gaining momentum. And what I'm finding is my guests are so kind and so supportive that my guests are going, who do you want me to get your access to? Um, so, so the momentum is incredible. And one guest who is coming up tomorrow, oh, giving it away. <laughs> one guest who's coming up tomorrow, Dan Hubbard is such a freaking gen. He's such a good guy. So Dan Hubbard, let me, you know what, before we start talking about Dan, let me play you a little invite. Dan's so chill as well. When you watch this, oh, I hope um, these are still all set up after we had the system crash. This should be a little invite uh, that I recorded to tomorrow's webinar with Dan with Dan. I'm going to press this button and fingers crossed it doesn't blow up. Actors back once again with an invite for you all to another incredible actsonthis.tv live webinar taking place on Tuesday the 14th of April 2020 7 30 p.m with not only one of the nicest guys in casting one of like the most successful casting directors we've got in our industry currently in isolation in Ireland getting his Irish accent back Mr Dan Hubbard welcome back to Acts on This mate thanks so much for doing this. Thank you Ross. No problem at all. It's been a couple of years, mate, since we've done this. What have you been, I mean, you can't really say in a, in a 30 second video, but any highlights, what have you been up to recently? Uh, just, you know, the usual, like a, like a good variation of, of films and um, some interesting TV and just working with some really nice people and new actors, new casts, um, new work. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's been good. It's been a good few years up until, uh, this terrible moment that we're we're in right now. Absolutely, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about how we're going to get through it as well, guys. Um, you are going to be able to literally jump on camera with me and Dan. You're going to be able to talk to Dan one to one. Um, you know, you're going to be able to listen and watch this uh, this entire ninety minute Q and A with Dan. So uh, make sure you do join us. Get yourself over to atsonthis.tv forward slash live for full details of how you can do that. And Dan, a little bit of pressure on you now. Why don't they want to miss it? 
I guess I'll probably be talking about um, any sort of information that I'm getting from producers about when they see things getting back to normal. Uh, nothing will be factual, but it will be information that I'm, I, I'm possibly receiving from different people. So I'll briefly touch on that. But um, I guess it's always just good to be reminded about the do's and don'ts and um, any sort of current philosophies moving forward. And um, I just hope that pe people can take some bit of new information or a bit of positive positivity from it. Absolutely. Making positivity louder. So join us, guys, at onlist.tv forward slash live for full details, and we will see you there at 7.30 p.m. So yeah, at on this .tv forward slash live if you want to get involved with that. Dan's so freaking chilled out there, right? He never ever kind of, he's so humble as well. Um, Dan's cast some of the biggest stuff literally on the planet, basically, you know, um, from the Hubbard family, obviously, uh, there's Dan, there's Amy Hubbard, their parents, John and Roz, were massive casting directors in the industry as well. Um, you know, but Dan's cast stuff, like he cast all three of Matt Damon's Bourne films, you know, the Bourne Supremacy, Bourne Ultimatum, Bourne... What was it? Conspiracy? What was it? Chris Stone will know. That's kind of his, his league. Was it Ident Born Identity, Born Supremacy, Born Ultimatum? Were they the three? <laughs> Not Born. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely the three. Um, he cast Tom Hanks's um, Captain Phillips. It's still one of my favourite films, like, you know, you know um, the hijacking of the... Uh, of the, of the big ship you know that was a real based on a real life story um he's cast some massive massive stuff and he's just cast a big sky atlantic drama called devils um keeps it all very chilled though never really mentions kind of like what he's doing but ultimately yeah some of the biggest films and biggest tv in the land um if you want to jump on camera and talk we'll get the opportunity to i can't have everyone obviously uh you know tomorrow night but we'll get through as many people as possible um make sure you do attend 7 30 p.m till 9 p.m we're going to be getting people on live and just giving you as much um, as much value as possible. Um, and Dan is such a freaking nice guy. I'm not going to say anything yet, but there's two guests in particular that he's like, that are personal friends of his, that he's like, mate, I, I'm sure I could get you. And I mean, we're talking, this would be the biggest, the biggest name, like almost one of the biggest names you could ever get on for an interview or something. I mean, massive, absolutely like megastar. Uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, like he has a nickname for him. Yeah, I'll give him a ring, get him on. Um, so I don't know. This is the amazing thing about this. The more guests that I get on, and at the moment, everybody's just being so compassionate. I think this crisis is bringing out the very best in people. Um, we could have some more, in, like absolutely more and more incredible guests over the uh, the entire lockdown period. You're still going to be getting eight of these every month while we're in lockdown. When we get out of lockdown and I get my own job back, and my own career, I might not be able to do as many because hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be freaking busy actually earning some money out of my acting career. But until then, I'm all yours, guys, basically. And just to let you know as well, right, if you are suffering financially, you know, or whatever in this industry, it's no consolation at all. But please take solace in the fact that everyone is, right? I just had a, an email on Friday from my agent. I did a really a voiceover for a really big holiday campaign for a well-known holiday company and anyone who does voiceovers you'll know and tv like commercials you'll know there's usage attached to those are those you get your basic studio fee which is just a couple of hundred quid and then you get sometimes some very big usage and i lost all of my usage because that advert is not going to be played out so it taught me a lesson and luckily i learned this years ago so i didn't do it i didn't spend that money before i had it and it was a significant amount of money and it's now all gone. And I don't think I'll ever get it back because even when we're out of lockdown, there's no point in playing that advert because it was a summertime advert. It's pointless. So it's done. It's over. Um, so just know that everyone, like I say, it's no consolation at all because everybody's getting hit, but just know that everybody's getting hit. So um, so try not to feel like completely alone about it. We're all <laughs> getting punched in the face. The main thing you everybody needs to focus on and the thing that gets me through stuff like that. So I'm not disappointed and I can just, you know, it's water off a duck's back. I'm like, look, as long as I'm not on a ventilator right now and none of my loved ones and family and friends are, we're all winning. Please just keep uh, just keep focused on that. But yeah, it is tough. Everybody's getting absolutely punched um, by this crisis right now. Um, Tracy, how are we doing? Um, what's, what, I've missed a comment about what? Barbara says, you missed my comment about what you are talking about. No one is working. How are you getting guests? No one is working. 
What do you mean, Barbara? I have no idea what that even means. No one's working. How are you getting guests? We're doing everything online. We're doing it all privately via Zoom calls that are exclusive to uh, members of ActsOnThis.tv. If you're a member of ActsOnThis.tv, you will get an invite tomorrow to Dan's webinar. You'll actually find the link to it already in your members area over on the website. So if you go over to ActsOnThis.tv, for those who don't know where the mem- uh, like the members area is and stuff, hopefully this isn't going to break again. Phew. Uh, right, you would go over to ActsOnThis.tv. You would click, when you're logged in, you'll have the members area in the top right-hand corner here. You click on that, click into your premium membership, which is the purple one at the top. And then the second thing down, it says upcoming live calls and how to join them. Click into there and you will find join links for every single upcoming webinar that's scheduled so far, bar the one I'm going to tease you with at the end, because I'm not going to do that until later on tonight. And then you will find recordings of all previous webinars, plus another 250 hours of podcasts and video interviews with the biggest casting directors, agents, actors, writers, producers, um, directors, everybody in TV in the members area. Um, so as part of your actsonthis.tv membership, all of these webinars to you are completely included in your membership. So you have absolutely you know, nothing extra to do you just get them as part of your uh, as part of your membership um so yeah so that's tomorrow dan hubbard tomorrow um i'm going to show you what uh, like an example of what happened on last week's webinar to show you how these work i've created well petch has actually shout out to petch my cameraman he's created a little mashup um of certain uh, webinars we've done so far here's a mashup to show you guys haven't maybe attended one of these yet of sophie holland's webinar last thursday she's the casting director for the witcher let me know in the comments if you want to be in the witcher for netflix and um, sophie goes into her casting process entirely in this people got to jump on and chat to her and she also hinted at what was you know pretty much to be cast um or the fact that the the the, the uh, there are still six episodes of season two still to be cast, basically. And she was telling actors how ultimately to get in touch with her and how it's her job for people to get in touch with her. But here's a little mashup of kind of the way we run these. This is what most people are here for tonight, okay? Yeah, they want to know casting The Witcher. It was perfect. They literally text Lauren. She was in LA at the time. And I was like, the ask is just walked in wow. with the loot. Book him. <laughs> oh my God, who? Darling. Do all ages get the same breakdowns? The first one was around um, special skills, so especially things like combat um, and like sword work and that type of thing, especially in something like The Witcher where there's so much of that. Mm. How much does that actually play into your casting decisions when you're initially looking for people? Um, and it's just done a film with Ed Westwick, aren't you? What was it? I have the yeah, echo there, Enemy Lines. Mm. It was a cop for 10 years when I didn't know what it was to be when I grew up. And, mm. um, would it be something like that that would sort of gauge your interest more or would it be the job? Because obviously I'm mindful that you don't want to get a massive email. Would you recommend any ways or tips or should or shouldn't that somebody like myself could do to get on the radar of those sorts of projects? I'm going to bring Peter on now because Peter's been in the community a while and I want you to see him just because. I'm just going to pimp Bad. you out, Peter, because you're very which uh, I mean look at Hello. that you know what I mean and I love the fact that you know these guys like this is like your community like oh, it's tight knit there's 10,000 in here but I know them like I love that is religion something worth mentioning on an introductory email how do you approach people living abroad because I've trained in the UK so uh, my question was um, do you know what other characters are coming up in the witch home <laughs> yeah, we'll sort that out for you that's what we do we, in, in the oh, acts on this community we get your TV jobs and husbands so we'll sort that out <laughs> no problem oh. so did you ever see anyone for the witcher who was unrepresented of course yep I think it's really important for me and my office to find new talent um, and to bring that up. Um, that's the thing we're most excited about. If people can only watch one thing during lockdown, what would you recommend to them? I'm happy for your success, knowing that there is enough success for all of us. See, how cool is Sophie Holland? So good. Honestly, like such a good egg as a casting director in terms of just really embracing new talent, looking for new talent, no judgment on new talent. Um, more than happy for people to uh, get in touch with her. She went into that in quite a detail on the webinar. She gave her email address away on the webinar, um, all kinds of stuff. But that's how we run them, Barbara. I think you are asking before. Uh, that's how we uh, that's how we run them. People jump online, and um, and yeah, it's like we ultimately so like just 
everyone gets on as a glass of wine or a coffee or whatever they want and we just have a nice time and everyone gets to know each other um it just means that i love it in a way that i like introducing everyone in this community to people that i already know and this is what i'm doing on these and basically just opening up my address book or me well that i've one but like my phone book and going right who can i ask who i've known in this industry to come and like you know introduce themselves to you um and i want everyone in this community to get to meet them or as many people as possible to get to meet them face to face on camera or even if you're not one of the actors who you know gets chosen to ask a question because sometimes there's literally 500 questions in the question box and I have to just very quickly just pick someone out at random everyone I'm picking there's no rhyme or reason behind it like you know uh if you're not getting picked it's not because i'm like n ignoring your question um i just can't I, we don't have the time i don't have the time to vet all the questions i'm like right submit a question and i'll just you know let's just roll with it um but yeah even if you're not picked out hopefully you're getting to if you're savvy you should be getting to understand how these casting directors and these people are bring on are working what they're like it's great just to see them so if you do end up in the room for you know for a casting with them you even know who they are because um, that's the thing, you know, I've been to castings with a casting director and I've gone into that building not having a clue what the casting director looks like. And that can be awkward sometimes when you walk in the room. I know one story where this actually happened. The main casting director was downstairs in the building and the office was upstairs where they were actually where the castings were going on. And they were just downstairs making a coffee. An actor came in and presumed they were like the janitor or something. I went, oh, you wouldn't mind making me a coffee, would you? And the casting director was incredibly polite. It was like, of course I will, absolutely. But they were mortified afterwards when they, not the casting director, but the actor was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just asked the main casting director to get me a coffee when I came in. I thought you were just someone, you know, like just working here. Um, it was all fine. The, you know, the casting director didn't have an ego and was more than happy to make a coffee for someone. But even just getting to see someone, getting to know what how they speak, hearing what they like, hearing what they don't like, hearing what turns them on and off in auditions, what they want to see from actors, what they want to see from your showreel, from your headshot, regardless of whether you get to speak one-to-one -one, these are so, still so so massively uh valuable for people so uh acts on this.tv forward slash live if you do uh want to get involved with those and we're going to be um live with dan hubbard tomorrow night people are saying is it tom hardy in the uh in the chat the, the guest i'm going to tease at the uh, um oh no it's not the guest i'm going to tease at the end that could be tom hardy it's the one that dan said he'd introduce me to no it's not tom hardy but it's someone absolutely as well known yeah definitely and it's not Tom Hanks, Rich, although I'm guessing he knows Tom Hanks from casting Captain Phillips. Um, he's just a top guy, though, Dan, honestly. And he's proper low-key. That's what I love about him. Massively successful, but he just sort of, like, doesn't talk about it. He's just hugely low-key, happy to help actors. Um, and just a, he's a really genuinely sincere guy who cares. So um, that will you'll, you'll find that out yourselves tomorrow when you uh, when you get to speak him uh, speak to him. Everyone's saying Sophie was so lovely. She was absolutely uh, absolutely amazing. Not Tom Holland either, Esther. But that'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Get Tom Holland on. Petch would absolutely go crazy if I got Tom Holland on because Petch is like the biggest Spider Man uh, geek in the world. Uh, people say Matt Damon, Defo. Oh, wasn't Matt Damon? Um, it is someone huge though. Um, Definitely, and the guy I'm going to tease, I'm going to tease you with at the end again. Incredible, uh, you know, incredible actor. So I'll give you a, a hint: slash producer, um, actor, maybe turn producer, maybe is part of a very, very uh, well, an incredible production company. Uh, Bobby says, asking the person who could give you a life changing job to make you a coffee is a level of extra. I'm surprised I haven't yet reached. You definitely, uh, you definitely would do that, Bobby. Um, I'm going to play you, I'll play you a little, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this now. I'm going to play you a clip of like a little mashup of Martin's webinar as well. Because uh, this is Martin Gibbons. We had him on last week uh, talking about commercial castings. Now, commercial castings, it's not something like, I've spoken about loads of times on Acts on This TV. Um, normally we get drama casting directors in, um, but I think commercials, particularly for actors who you know are either starting out um, or ultimately if you just want you know a nice sum of money for a day's work, um, commercials can be that for you. Not every single one, but Martin was speaking a lot, um, you know, about fees and stuff potentially in the webinar um, and you know, how you should respect commercials as much as you respect drama stuff and how often the castings are harder. But it's like, look, is that extra prep and that extra work worth it for eight grand for a day? I think so. Um, so here's a little bit of Martin Gibbons 
again, one of the nicest guys you'll find in casting and just one of the funniest. If you ever get to audition for Martin Gibbons, you're going to have the time of your life, I promise you. I say this right, because like you're humble and stuff, but Martin genuinely like is one of the biggest commercial casting directors in the UK and casts for the biggest brands on the planet, like nationally and internationally. It's just a few of the brands that I've just pulled up before that you, uh, you've you cast adverts for that I've seen recently and stuff. Hello, hello, Martin. Hello, Ralph. How are you? Very well. Good. Good to see you. Do you give another chance to an actor that, you know, when he was in the room, he was, I don't want, I don't want to use negative word, but let's say he did an average performance. Of course. I mean, of course. How are you finding this, Martin? Good or what? Good. I've just turned on a lamp because I realised I was a bit dark, but now I've just some see soft light. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You look like you're coping quite well. I am coping extremely well. This is the best thing that could have happened to me, to be honest. I'm fucking loving it. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Obviously, by the time people get to my age, they're either Helen Mirren or they've given up. <laughs> so yes. um, they, they they say there's kind of a, a smaller pool Sorry. of older actresses um, for commercials. Is that right? Do you think that's fair? Oh, my God. Oh my God, yes. How does a commercial casting differ from, say, casting a TV or a film? My opinion on this is that you need to do the same on whatever you're casting for. Bloody hell, it's half past eight already. Goes fast, oh. doesn't it? Yes, um, my question was about location. Martin Gibbons, the third person that is Martin Gibbons, is absolutely happy for you to come from anywhere. You could come from... You come from America if you want to for a casting. Do you send your briefs out to all agents? Um, can people ever submit for stuff direct? And do you do generals? I send all my jobs out to everyone. There's a button that you can click on Spotlight which basically says, can you send this to actors who don't have agents? I often click that. I would like to, but when I have time. Do you ever use social media? Like we put something yeah, out on Twitter I, for a brief. I always do. I, I use them for quite a bit of quite a lot of jobs. Love Wendy's little cameo there. I had to bleep your uh, your language out a little bit there, Wendy, just for the uh, just for the trailer. But um, but yeah, another one that was just a great laugh. Um, really, really good. So hopefully by now, for those who haven't joined us on any of the webinars, you kind of know how it works. Um, but they are really, really good fun. Anyone here who's been on one will absolutely, no doubt, uh, vouch for that. Uh, Nick says, need to watch the back, the one with Martin, as I didn't catch it all, looking uh, for more opportunities and commercials. It's there for you, Nick. It's in the members area, mate, right there. You can watch the uh, the entire replay or just listen to the audio. What I do as well, which is quite cool, um, is I know people want to choose how they want to you know, take in replays of stuff and podcasts and things like that. So you've got an option if you remember but you can watch the video if you want to watch it all and see the slides and stuff that I put up on the screen. Um, or if you want to get on with your housework or do whatever you're doing at the moment in lockdown um, and just listen to the audio, you can just listen to the audio. There's an audio version of it as well. I always strip the audio um, from the uh, from the video as well. So you get a choice, mate, for you to uh, catch up. And Wendy says, potty mouth. Don't worry, Wendy. I'm a bit of a potty mouth as well. It's absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. Um, so they were the ones that happened last week. I've shown you the invite for Dan. Oh, so Thursday, let's talk about this. So Thursday's webinar um, is really for people who are looking to get representation. If you're looking for an agent or looking to build the relationship with your agent, or maybe you're looking to change agents. Um, I've got an awesome woman on, so, so knowledgeable. Janet Hampson. Anyone know Janet Hampson? Anybody auditioned for Janet Hampson when she was a casting director? Janet started off as an actress many moons ago. Then she became a producer for the BBC. She produced a load of radio plays for a long time. And then she started producing comedy for television. Then she decided she was going to be a casting director for comedy for television. And she was a casting director for around 12 years. She specialized a lot in comedy for BBC, BBC Three, when it was a, a channel, um, not just online. Um, and um, was hugely successful. Uh, and then she went to cast Coronation Street. She cast about 200, and, I think on IMDb, she cast about 227 episodes of Coronation Street. She was there for well over a year, I think. And then recently, I think probably uh, late last year, middle of last year, late last year, um, decided she was going to set up uh, her own agency. She was going to quit casting, you know, being a casting director, um, and she was going to produce uh, her own actors herself you know from her own agency um janet hampson personal management um, i think she's well she launched now she's got about 22 actors on the book so it's a very boutique new agency um she is on the lookout for new actors um so if you are looking for an agent 
you know, absolutely get in touch with Janet. If you go to Janet Hampson, uh, we'll just Google Janet Hampson Personal Management. I'm not sure the actual website address, but it is there. Um, but if you join us on Thursday night, um, you're going to get a chance to hear from her and I'm going to be asking her or everything about her new agency, what she's doing, what she's looking for, who she's looking for, how she's operating it, um, ultimately, and how she's getting her clients work and working with them. Because that was something when I spoke to her the other day, she was really passionate about. She's like, you know, she's even at the moment sometimes, well, not now, but beforehand, if her clients couldn't get to auditions, she'd go, I'll pick you up and I'll take you. <laughs> now that is service for you. Um, so she's very, very good like that, very hands-on with her uh, with her clients. Um, but let me know if anybody uh, did ever actually uh, audition for her. I had an audition for Coronation Street with Janet. Um, she's great. She was a really, really great casting director and now being an agent, I'm sure she's going to go on and smash it as well. Um, she, Sam says, is she Carly's agent? She is. Carly Maguire, who's an actor in the Acts on This.TV community, um, is uh, rep by her. And Carly's story was very interesting, how she got rep. And this is why I'm all about you guys putting content out online all the time because Carly put some outtakes from a self-tape she did with her mum on Twitter Janet was, la you know, laughing at the outtakes because, you know, it was just a really funny scene that, that she'd done. I think her mum kept kind of like putting on a voice that Carly didn't want her mum to put on. It was just funny. Um, she kept making Carly laugh. Um, and then Janet looks at it and thought, well, actually, no, you're quite good until, like, you know, it goes wrong. You're really good. So I'm going to go to your spotlight. I'm going to check you out. Um, checked her out on spotlight and then got in touch with her saying, I'd like to meet you. I'm interested in, in representing you. Um, so everyone on here is afraid of putting themselves out online. Again, you're missing out on massive opportunities because you just don't know, you know. Every time I'm saying put yourself out there, it's not for fun. Well, it is for fun, but, you know, there's a real reason behind why I'm telling you to get yourself out there um, because great stuff can happen. So, yeah, that's how Carly uh, got repped. Jason Broderick in the house. Thank you, mate, for posting the website address. It's janethampson.co.uk. Um for uh, Janet's website, so do check it out. Here's a little message uh, from Janet that I filmed with her uh, just a couple of nights ago, um, a little invite to our broadcast on Thursday night. Actors, we're really spoiling you with these now. I'm back once again with an invite to another incredible Acts On This TV live webinar taking place on Thursday, the 16th of April, 2020 at 7.30 p.m. for 90 minutes with none other than this amazing lady here, casting director, recently turned agent, Miss Janet Hampson. Welcome back to the site, it's been a while. Hello, yes it has. I can't remember how many years it was, but maybe, oh, I don't know. Couple, I don't know, three, maybe three. Oh, yeah, and I remember also once doing a message with a Christmas tree in the background. Yeah, we had you doing that. I get, I get people to just give a little shout out at Christmas. Um, but it's awesome. Last time we had you on, Janet, obviously you were, you know, you're a big like comedy casting director. You've recently now turned to agency and you've got Janet Hampson Personal Management. How's the transition been? It's been fun. It's been really good. It's an interesting because obviously I knew what it was like to be dealing with people like me, but now <laughs> I am the person that's saying, please let me have my agent, my actors come and see you, please uh, send me your breakdowns. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an education. Let's say it's an education. And I always like being educated. Absolutely. Every day is a school day. Well, if you want to be educated, guys, get yourself over to actonthis.tv forward slash live to find out how you can get involved with this. You'll be able to jump on camera. We're going to give people the opportunity to jump on camera, talk to me, talk to Janet. If you've not got an agent right now, you're looking for one, we're going to be talking about how, you know, ultimately people like Janet want to, you know, seek out new talent, sign new people, how you can build a relationship with your agent. And you know what, Janet, work with your agent together, be proactive ultimately to get those auditions and get those roles. Um, so I'll put you on the spot. I'll do this with every Every guest and um, give us like 10 seconds of why people don't want to miss this because although I'm an agent I have a former casting director's mind a former producer's mind and I used to a long long time ago be an actor so I know how it feels I know what people are looking for and I know how to make you better amazing we will see you there guys at on this TV forward slash live and we'll see you on the 16th at 7 30 p.m. Look at that as a promise for you. Janet knows how to make you better. Um, she does. She's got such a rounded knowledge of this entire industry. You know, been in it decades as multiple things. Like I say, gone from actor to producer um, to casting director for well over a decade. And now she's an agent. So um, anybody who is rep by her, if you're on here and she is your agent or you're looking for that to be the case, um, you're in very safe hands with Janet. Definitely. She knows exactly what she's doing. Sean says, what do you say, mate? You owe... I think Sean, the comments just gone, but he said, oh, wonderful lady. I've lots to be thankful for. Um, got you your last big job. 
Um, lover, there you go. Awesome, man. Let's uh, good to see you on here as well, mate. Hope you are well. Um, I put myself out there, says Emma, more than ever with lockdown and actually uh, not giving a shit. And it helps me just not care or be embarrassed. I've had so many uh, so many people want to connect, sending me scripts to read. <laughs> there you go. Honestly, like, you know, as long as you put in quality content out and don't get hung up on that as in like, oh, it's got to look perfect and sound perfect. No, just as long as you're good in that content or the content has a message that's valuable, people will watch it and people will look out for more of your stuff next time. So um, it's just about, yeah, you know, putting quality content out that's valuable for people. Uh, Ross, can I drop you a message to ask Janet? I'm covering A&E every Tuesday and Thursday for the next two weeks, so I'm not able to access live. I wouldn't normally ask you do this. If you can't or don't think my request, and this is a very... Brendan, you are a key worker working in A&E on the front line of the COVID-19 crisis. I don't think anyone in this community um, would would begrudge you going to the top of the pile for me to ask a question on your behalf. Um, absolutely, mate. Send me a uh, send me the question. Send me an email. You've got my email address. Um, and I would. it's the least we can do for you. Um, I hope you've got some bloody PPE, mate. I saw you put something on Facebook today. It looked like you had PPE on. Hopefully, you, hopefully you've got enough. Uh, yeah, of course, absolutely. Send me a question. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, when he said, if you don't put stuff out because you're worried about the trolls, they win. Don't let them win. Yeah, don't be worried about freaking... Uh, uh, particularly, don't be worried about anonymous trolls. You know, just pity them. Feel sorry for the anonymous trolls. Smother them with love. For someone to read your tweet or watch your video, you know, take in any of your content and then have it in them and have the time, you know, in their life to write you a negative comment. These people, bless their hearts, are losers. Um, and they're in a lot of pain to do that. I, I could not leave a negative comment on somebody's thing, re, you know, regardless, because I, I wouldn't have time to do it. I'm, like, I'm not bothered. If I don't like something or it doesn't resonate with me, um, it's fine. I'll just move on and go and find some stuff that, that does. Um, please, like, it's so sad if you're not putting yourself out there for fear. It's one thing for fear of what friends and family will think of you, but it's a completely different story for fear of what people you don't even know are going to say. Like, you can't operate from that place in your life and expect to get anywhere in life because there will always be people uh, ready to criticize anyone who throws their hat into the arena. So you've just got to throw it in and, and you know, accept what, you know, what happens. And that means the good and the bad as well. It means not getting too caught up and, and, and believing the hype in yourself and getting too high on your own supply because then when you do get a negative comment on your third video or fourth video you'll take it really to heart and you'll never post again because you'll be like, oh my God, I thought I was great. Everyone told me I was great until now and now I've been told I'm not, so I'm going to cry about it. Um, you've got to just, you know, kind of like not listen too much to the positives and not listen too much to the negatives, you know, just be, you know, your, have your own opinion of yourself um, and value that above everything else and you'll, uh, and you'll be all right. Uh, Bobby said he's taken to do been doing some improv monologues and surprised that people are actually watching them. Well, surprise, 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 Bobby. Um, absolutely. No, you've got to uh, you, you've got to put yourself uh, yourself out there. If you're a performer and you're not prepared to do that, God, you're in the wrong industry. What are you going to do when you walk onto a set of a Netflix drama and there's literally 100 people? When I when I did The Stranger, honest to God, you walk onto the set. We were filming in this huge cinema. Absolutely, a hundred people. There must have been a hundred people on that set. And if you can't rock up and have confidence enough in yourself to deliver your lines, and 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 you know, ultimately, it's a big ask because you're getting asked to go on set, and you're getting asked to turn up to a set that people have been on for a while, and everyone knows each other. And as a day player, you're asked to go in and you do your scene or your two scenes and leave. It's a big ask when you go in, and it's like being first first day at school again for you, and like the new kid at school. But like that's your job, and that's what you've chosen to do. So if you're not prepared to to put yourself out in front of people you don't know, you're kind of screwed from the off because the second you go onto a set, you're going to fall apart and you'll never get asked back. So um, practice that. Get good at that. <laughs> don't worry about that. Put shit out there and just accept what comes back. It's absolutely fine. But you must you must develop that ability to you know just value your own opinions over everybody else's opinion and also be able to take some criticism if it's you know, uh, like valid, um, but equally, you know, let it roll off you if you don't agree with it. It's fine. It's art is so subjective. No one's going to like everything you do. No one's going to hate everything you do. So just keep doing it and, you know, and you will eventually please lots of people. You'll never please everybody. Um, 
Let's have a look. Uh, she was how Sam says she was how I came across acts on this about seven years ago. She mentioned you during her talk at Surviving Actors in Manchester. Who did? Who did Sam? Janet? Janet Hampson? God, was it that long ago? Because yeah, Janet was probably one of the. I said in that in that broadcast, uh, in, not in the broadcast, in a little trailer we just did there, that it was probably two or three years ago. I bet it wasn't, you know. I bet it probably was more like seven years ago. Um, time just bloody flies by. Absolutely uh, crazy. Yeah, Janet, you're saying, yeah, wow. God, yeah. Probably was more like that. Wow, seven years ago. Yeah, I remember uh, launching acts on this 11 years ago at Surviving Actors, one of the first ones they ever did in Manchester. They don't even do it in Manchester anymore. Well, they don't do Surviving Actors anymore. Um, it's finished. It's called Actors Expo now, and they just do it in London. Um, Nick says, absolutely know the difference between criticism. That's useful. Uh, what's uh, what you're saying, but just not what's spiteful. Yeah, you know, it's just like people can, you can criticize something, you can you know, give people pros and cons of their uh, of their work without being nasty or, you know, spiteful like uh, like Nick says. It's the only way you grow. If, if everybody posts their work and all they ever get back, like I say, is positive comments, even though people know it's not perfect and, and there's other things they can improve, then it's no good to them. Um, and it does mean then when they do eventually get a negative comment, it crushes their soul. Um, so there's nothing wrong. You know, if I put a piece of content out, and you're like, Ross, yeah, that was good, but you know, the way you did that was a bit shit. Um, that's fine. Do you know one way? To, do you know one way to become invincible when it comes to opinions and stuff? Ask for them first. When you ask for feedback and you get it, and it's negative, it it will roll off you because it's like you've asked for it. I think it hurts more when you've not asked for it. <laughs> then people are like, that's a bit shit, Ross. You're like, oh, God, I thought it was actually quite good. Um, so, yeah, if you own it and you ask for the feedback and say, how can I improve this, guys? It gives people permission to give you what is potentially improvable without them feeling bad about it. Then everyone's a winner at that point. Um, definitely. You've just got to, uh, yeah, ask for it and you will uh, and you will win. Um, definitely. Um, so, uh, so what else is going on? We've got about four minutes left before we shall wrap it up and I'll get prepared for tomorrow night's broadcast with, uh, with Dan, but has anyone got any questions or anything you're struggling with? How's everyone actually just doing in general? Um, in the lockdown, like I say, today's been the worst day for me in terms of like just feeling restless and not really, I did my lot my long run yesterday. I enjoyed doing that. You know, I got out of the house, you know, I did 10 miles yesterday. That was pretty good, but I hadn't done any exercise for the whole week before that, and that always gets to me. It makes me feel quite bad. And I think I've just got a built-up, pent-up kind of energy that I just need to disperse. But yeah, I've been really restless today. It's not been uh, been the easiest, like the most productive day, really. And then you've got to be careful not to judge yourself when you have days like that. Developing the ability not to judge yourself when you're like, oh, I've just wasted an hour of my time and I couldn't be doing some work. Um, I've definitely done that today. I've just, you know, I just went and sat in my bed for half an hour. Honestly, I just lay on my bed, just flicking through Sky News, going right. I'm, you know, I don't normally do that, but I thought I better catch up with what's going on with the world right now, and if there's any uh, info on, you know, potentially what's going on with this lockdown. Um, and then you start thinking, if you're not careful, oh, I should have been doing that. I could have sent emails in that time. I think we've all got to learn not to judge ourselves whilst we're in this situation more than ever. Don't judge yourself even when we're not in this situation, but like right now, just more than uh, more than ever. Definitely. Uh, John said he felt like that on Saturday with fitness. It's really hard, isn't it? It is difficult. And like, you know, I enjoyed my run yesterday, but there is still parts of me that's paranoid coming in and out of my apartment building where I'm like, right, I take like an antiviral wipe with me to touch all the door handles. <laughs> and then when I get outside, I'm like, oh God, have I touched anything? Have I touched my face? Oh, I've got to stay two meters away from them. And then it's like being out in the world is pretty stressful right now. And that's why I massively respect people like Brendan, who's a nurse working in A&E, who just goes, yeah, I'll just I'll volunteer to actually just go and do this every single day. Um, so massive respect, mate. You send me whatever question you want to ask Janet, and I will uh, I will ask it on your behalf. Oh yeah, right. You want me to tease you? Of course. I said I, I said I would I would let you know who uh, I've got on the Thursday after this Thursday coming up. Um, it's so for years people will know I have been a massive. Um, don't go and put this on social media either because I've not announced it. So don't go tweeting it yet or tagging this person in it. Um, but I, I've been a huge fan, and it's not Noel Clark. Okay, I know Tanika would go mental if I said Noel Clark. But Noel Clark set up a production company called Unstoppable. They produce absolutely incredible TV. Anyone seen Bulletproof or the second season of Bulletproof? I think uh, start, it started, hasn't it? I think it's out. Second season of Bulletproof. Um, 
Awesome production company called Unstoppable. Um, Noel Clark set it up with a chap called Jason Mazza, and it's Jason who is going to be on the Thursday after the Tuesday. And what I massively respect about these boys more than anything is, you know, when you hear their story and how kind of like, you know, Noel and, and Jason started out as actors um, and just weren't necessarily getting the opportunities that they thought they deserved. Um, and they've gone sod it. We're going to do it ourselves. And they created this production company um, and they're just absolutely flying, you know, doing absolutely incredible stuff. I still think they they deserve more credit than they're even getting now, um, to be honest. But I just massively, I've DM'd Noel a few times on Instagram and I've not managed to get a reply off him yet. And um, a friend of mine, Phil, knows Jason and tagged me in a tweet of Jason's a couple of days ago. Or it might have even been yesterday. Um, that I then replied to and then Jace uh, DM me today to go, mate, let's make it, let's make it happen, let's do a live webinar. What we're going to be doing with Jason is talking specifically from an actor turned producer role in terms of where you go, right, I am ready to get my own stuff out there. And he's going to be talking and answering questions about how you actually make that happen because they've done it. It's not theoretical. It's not like a production company coming on here, like a you know a commissioner or something saying, well, this is what you need to do. These guys have done it. They've been actors, still are actors. Um, and they've had their stuff commissioned by Sky, and it's you know been a, a worldwide success. So um, Jace is hopefully going to spill the beans on how you make that happen, how you pitch your projects, what you need to do, what even is a pitch, basically what production companies want from you, what they want to see, um, how much of the scripts they will need to see. Um, and he's just going to be on hand to ask, uh, well, for you to ask any questions you want. I'm super excited about that because I'm going to learn a shitload as well because I'm definitely in that part of my career where I absolutely am ready to start creating my own stuff and um, and I want to understand how that works and I think by speaking to someone who's already done it you can literally save yourself years and I mean years of um of figuring it out so um so yeah well excited about that one uh, this is what I need in my life, <laughs> says Stanika. <laughs> Jason is amazing, says Emma. Uh, would never have guessed that one. No, I know people would have gone for Noel Clark. Well, you know what? I mean, I might be able to get Jason to go, right, does Noel want to come and do it as well, either with you um, or, you know, does Noel want to come on a, on, a, on another one as well? Because um, I'd love to talk to Noel. And I've got loads of mates who have worked with him. Uh, Rob Collier's worked with him. Ruth Maidley's worked with him. Um, and, yeah, I just, you know... I just like the the go getting attitude that he has. You know, I think it can, uh, you know, sometimes be um, just what you need in your life in terms of you know, there's a time and a place to go. Right, I'm doing it on my own, but I think you know, if you've exhausted other options or you feel you you've not had the opportunities or you know, the the doors aren't opening for you, go and freaking make the door yourself. <laughs> go make the door yourself and smash it down. So um, so yeah. I'm excited about that one. Um, and the A-lister, A-lister who Dan might introduce us to is, um, I'm not even going to remotely hint at it because if it doesn't come off, I'll look stupid, but bloody hell. I mean, you're talking mega. <laughs> Absolute mega. It'd be the biggest guest I've ever had on the site, without a doubt. Uh, but we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, so uh, so we'll wrap it up, guys. Let me know who's here now, who's going to be on tomorrow night with me on the webinar with dan hubbard um let me know before we go give me some comments in the uh in the comments give me some comments in the comments sean said he worked he, he's oh i thought you said you worked it out he says i've worked with him oh you've worked with jace amazing awesome um good stuff so uh so yeah my dad always tells me i need to speak to noel being an honorary hackney chick, <laughs> says Tanika. we'll make it happen we'll make it happen michael's gonna be there meter's gonna be there uh, who else? Emma's going to be there. Sam's going to be there. Polly's going to be there. Wendy's going to be there. Kate's going to be there. Alicia. All oh, Andrea's going to be there. Esther's going to be there. Um, Princess Princess Teta. I don't know how you say that name. Amazing name is going to be there though. Um, Zine is going to. You're all going to be there. Faye's going to be there. If you've not got an Act on This membership yet, get yourself over to Act on This TV forward slash live. Um, straight after this um, like I say you're getting eight of these a month I understand it's 17 quid for a month subscription but you get eight of these they're like two quid each plus you get access to um, 
250 hours worth of podcasts in the members area um, that honest to God, if you act on them, the advice within them, they're with the biggest casting directors in the industry, the biggest agents, actors, writers, producers, directors. If you act on the advice, you must do that. I can't do it for you. I can give you all the information you need, um, but you need to act on it. Um, you will you will, you will find it impossible not to get anywhere in this industry. Like You will find it absolutely impossible not to have success within this industry as long as you act on that information within those, uh, those features. Um, so hugely uh, appreciate you being here. Massively appreciate it. I know it's a bank holiday. I know we're in unprecedented times. It's an unprecedented, if I, it's an unprecedented time to hear the word unprecedented. It's like the amount of times <laughs> I've heard that word is, uh, is mental. But yeah, I appreciate you uh, being here tonight. And those listening on the audio experience, thanks for being here as well. Um, Brendan says, I'll drive an ambulance to get home for that one. <laughs> Excellent, mate. Definitely. You know, that's uh, that's crazy. Huge respect, Brendan. Honest to God. And anyone on here, do you know what? Anybody, doesn't matter if you're in the NHS, absolutely love you guys in the NHS, but just anyone who is out working right now, supermarket, volunteering, Sean, mate, huge respect to you. I know you're a volunteer. You're one of the three quarters of a million people who sign up to be a volunteer and you're out in the community delivering medicine and food to people like just massive respect to anybody who's doing that right now because it takes like just be real for a second like shit loads of bravery man honest to god i i feel paranoid as hell going for my run and i'm staying five meters away from everybody um so yeah honest to god if anyone on here is uh one of those workers and you can't get to one of these live broadcasts and you want to ask a question so you can watch it on the replay um please do drop me an email help at ats on this dot tv and um and I'll make sure you get a question asked. A hundred percent. That's the least we can uh, we can do for you guys um, at the moment. Um, and shout out to Steve, who's in the supermarkets as well. Oh, you're in Wilco, aren't you, Steve? Yeah, good lad. Um, awesome. Um, Chris Stone's doing a watch party. A nice little thriller scene with Ross and Sam. Oh, that's a scene me and Chris called Good as Gold. We were testing out the 4K ability on Chris Stone's camera years ago when 4K had just come out. And we went to a derelict building that somehow Chris had the keys to. <laughs> and he went, right, I've written this script. You're going to play a gangster. I was like, well, I'm not really a gangster. He's like, no, we're just, you know, you can do it. Um, so so that's coming up. You can see that. Where that's going to be. So Chris has put a link in the um, in the comments now. You click that. You can go over to the uh, to Chris's watch party. He's going to play some showreel scenes that he's been creating. And those on the audio experience or watching the replay, if you go to facebook.com forward slash Chris Stone director, I think you can probably uh, you can probably catch up on that. Um, awesome! Um, thank you so much for being here, guys. Going to uh, wrap it up. I will leave you with Dan's invite to his webinar tomorrow night. Please join me, seven thirty p.m. We're going to be taking questions till nine p.m. And you will get fingers crossed. You know, many of you on here will get an opportunity to jump on camera with Dan. Like I say, I can't get everyone on, but I get as many people as I possibly can on to actually speak to Dan one to one. And you never know, you might get a casting out of it down the line or something. Who knows? But hopefully you'll at least uh, get to suss him out, meet him, and uh, it'll help you in your career. So thank you for being here. I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, and everyone in the comments is already saying the magic words, which are bye for now. Actors back once again with an invite for you all to another incredible Acts on This.tv live webinar taking place on Tuesday, the 14th of April, 2020, 7.30 p.m. with not only one of the nicest guys in casting, one of like the most successful casting directors we've got in our industry, currently in isolation in Ireland, getting his Irish accent back, Mr. Dan Hubbard. Welcome back to Acts on This, mate. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank you, Ross. No problem at all. It's been a couple of years, mate, since we've done this. What have you been, I mean, you can't really say in a, in a 30 second video, but any highlights, what have you been up to recently? Uh, just, you know, the usual, like a, like a good variation of, of films and um, some interesting TV and just working with some really nice people and new actors, new casts, um, new work. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's been good. It's been a good few years up until, uh, this terrible moment that we're we're in right now. Absolutely, we're going to be talking about that. We're talking about how we're going to get through it as well, guys. Um, you are going to be able to literally jump on camera with me and Dan. You're going to be able to talk to Dan one to one. Um, you know, you're going to be able to listen and watch this uh, this entire 90 minute Q and A with Dan. So uh, make sure you do join us. Get yourself over to atsonthis.tv forward slash live for full details of how you can do that. And Dan, a little bit of pressure on you now. Why don't they want to miss it? I guess I'll probably be talking about um, any sort of information that I'm getting from producers about when they see things getting back to normal. 
Uh, nothing will be factual, but it will be information that I'm, I, I'm possibly receiving from different people. So I'll briefly touch on that. But um, I guess it's always just good to be reminded about the do's and don'ts and um, any sort of current philosophies moving forward. And um, I just hope that pe people can take some bit of new information or a bit of positive positivity from it. Absolutely, making positivity louder. So join us, guys, at onlist.tv forward slash live for full details, and we will see you there at 7.30 p.m. <laughs>